Welcome everyone. My name is Stephanie and I'm part of the Multilingual Ambassador Program, MAP, of the VCU School of Education. Today I will be speaking about why a tutor or mentor is for everyone. Let's take a look at this mountain climber and imagine the questions they need to ask themselves to prepare for climbing this mountain. Which mountain will they climb? How long will it take? What tools do they need? Will they go alone? In general, lots of questions to think about. However, before thinking about these questions, this first, the person first decided that reaching the peak of the mountain would be their goal. Bringing this goal to life means a plan needs to be created and carried through. Like the mountain climber, everyone in this room also has the ability to turn their thoughts into a reality. And that becomes easier when we practice setting goals for ourselves. Goals are a great way to measure progress and see which areas in your life are going well and which areas could use some improvement. Writing down your goals to keep you accountable and help you reflect if your decisions align with what is important to you. Recognizing what is important can be difficult because everyone has a unique background and experiences that make our priorities different. No matter how we feel about what is going on around us, this Dr. Sue quote reminds us that our voices and our choices are our best tools to take us where we want to go. What does tutoring and mentoring have to do with mountain climbing? A lot of things. Similar to the mountain climber, identifying your academic goals looks just the same. More importantly, the knowledge and support you get along the way ensures that you stay on the right track to achieving the goals you set for yourself. Where do I wanna go? What are my goals? The next step for a new mountain climber is to figure out which mountain they want to climb and learn what the requirements are. The internet is always a great tool to inspire and share knowledge. However, it can be difficult to understand what is relevant, realistic, and accessible information. Speaking with someone with prior hiking and climbing experience would be the most direct way to attain knowledge and provide direction for creating a plan. Mentoring serves this purpose too. A mentor's personal experience and knowledge are meant to guide you on your academic journeys. It is a reoccurring meeting with someone committed to supporting you. Unlike close family and friends, a mentor is a more formal relationship that prioritizes your individual growth into who you want to be. Mentoring provides the opportunity to figure out what your interests and skills are to prepare for the outside world and find your place in it. How to start looking for a mentor. School provides a lot of resources for students that sometimes go overlooked. It's always a good idea to ask a trusted adult where you can start looking for these resources or be in the loop of what is available at your school. Most towns and cities also have a recreational center or a community center that provides ways to get involved in a variety of activities, which can also include mentoring programs. Also, asking a trusted adult who's on a path that you're interested in learning more about, for example, a soccer coach or a science teacher can be a way to find a mentor. Am I prepared? It's important to understand that knowing how to achieve your goal is different from being prepared to achieve them. If the mountain climber encounters a lake but doesn't know how to swim, it would be beneficial to find someone who has mastered swimming willing to teach and provide feedback. While mentoring eases plan building, tutoring prioritizes improving specific areas that need more attention. A phrase that I heard before is, anything hard is just an accumulation of easy things we didn't master. When we come across a difficult class, it may be tempting to wait until the last minute to study or finish assignments. However, this can lead to poor study habits and poor class performance. Tutoring is a great resource to utilize. Tutoring is a one-on-one -on -one learning experience that is self-paced and focuses on building the student's academic abilities. By bringing class material to a session, a tutor can assess how to best support you according to your needs. The benefits of tutoring include improving class performance, developing personalized study methods, building self-esteem, and confidence in dealing with academic obstacles. How to start looking for a tutor. Just like with finding a mentor, Asking a trusted adult or homeroom teacher where you can find tutoring resources can also be a good option. If you need help with a specific subject, asking the specific subject teacher directly is a great way to foster a proactive academic mindset. Similarly, peer tutoring could be something very beneficial to look into as well. Peer tutoring is when a classmate is also taking the same subject and you both get to help each other understand the material together. Forming pairs or groups and reaching out to your teacher is a great way for you and your classmates to get help in the class. Here are a few resources within the Richmond area that provide mentoring, tutoring, or similar services. If there aren't any at your school, these are also great places to check out at little to no cost. 